Hey folks, a uh, very warm welcome to the CNCF uh, on demand webinar uh, where we talk about Litmus Chaos Con and project updates with uh, me, Prithvi Raj, and Saranya Jaina from Harness, who are actively involved with the Litmus Chaos project as open source contributors and maintainers. Uh, before we get started, we'll uh, quickly introduce ourselves. So, my name is Prithvi Raj. Uh, I'm working as a technical community manager at Harness. I'm leading the uh, community for the Chaos Engineering product, as well as the Litmus Chaos open source project sponsored uh, by the company itself. I'm also a CNCF ambassador since uh, the last couple of years, and I've uh, actively been working in the CNCF space with events like KCDs and um, Chaos Engineering meetups and much more. And beyond that, you can connect with me uh, on the socials. Saranya? Yeah. Hi, everybody. This is Saranya. And uh, I'm a senior software engineer at Harness. And I'm also a maintainer at Litmus Chaos. And I've been contributing to Litmus from the on the backend side of things. And uh, it has been more than three years. And it's uh, been, a, been an amazing journey uh, till date. So yeah, thank you. All right. Uh, thank you so much, Saranya. And uh, now we'll we'll quickly uh, jump onto the agenda. We'll try to keep uh, the on-demand webinar short. So moving up, uh, first things first, obviously, uh, Litmus Chaos Con. It's been a uh, very talked about, uh, I mean, conference. And this is one of the first editions. We are inspired by other projects. Of course, there's been... OrgoCon, GRPC Con, Dapper Con, Strimzy Con, so much happening in the CNCF ecosystem. So Litmus thought, why not pioneer this uh, from the chaos engineering space and become the first chaos engineering community conference uh, for the community in itself. And now uh, that's that's that was the vision behind it. And the idea is not just to host one conference, but uh, to host multiple conferences throughout the uh, I mean, the year in itself with the uh, Chaos Carnival, which is also, you know, uh, assisted by the Litmus community. And then also project uh, more Chaos Engineering in terms of Chaos Engineering meetups, uh, re reliability engineering meetups as a community. And then obviously host Litmus Chaos Con year in uh, every year as an annual conference moving on from here. So, uh, I mean... That, that that was the idea behind it and uh, we have finalized the date as 12th of september we are around 15 days 14 days away from the conference hopefully when the webinar is launched and then uh, obviously there's been uh you know massive interest shown from the community there were around 30 30 plus cfps that were submitted we had five amazing program community uh, committee members from three different companies and then finally we were able to select uh around a keynote, eight talks, two lightning talks, a chaos engineering workshop, which which accumulated a total of 17 speakers from different companies. We'll, we'll also take a look at the agenda properly. But, but that's been the journey and uh, it went through almost uh, eight months of planning. We started planning this around February and then we went ahead with uh, the CNCF. A huge shout out to folks at CNCF, uh, including uh, Lindsay, Ashley, uh, Katie, who have who have helped, uh, and everyone in the events, uh, the design team who has been helping uh, assist with the CNCF uh, conference, virtual conference in Litmus Kiosk Con, and then finally we were able to achieve uh, our our overall conference agenda, how we want to go about it. We are we are obviously running it on the bevy platform and the registrations are for free uh, we will we'll be going through that but yeah these are the details of the conference and how we have gone about it and make sure that uh, you are registering as a community if you are interested in chaos engineering or uh, resiliency reliability in itself and you have maybe participated in any of the chaos engineering communities uh, say litmus chaos chaos mesh kraken chaos monkey chaos toolkit or you have just take an active interest in in resiliency as as a goal then make sure that you are registering for a for the event and participating in this community conference so again a huge shout out to our program committee members uh, shomo gd shomo who is also a maintainer to orgo and participated in the litmus chaos community uh, shubham chaudhary he's uh, a senior software engineer at harness and has been one of the 
pioneers as a maintainer for litmus chaos uh, kiran mova again a huge shout out to him he was one of the founding members of the project and now is a senior engineering manager at broadcom uh, me in itself who's leading the community has participated in the program committee and then karthik s uh, who's a uh, principal software engineer at harness and one of the founding members of the uh, litmus chaos project in a core maintainer to the project so a huge shout out to all the program committee members who have helped uh, review all the amazing cfps and help uh, create you know chart out a good uh, agenda in hand a use i mean a really uh, insightful agenda which is going to help the community participate in chaos engineering practices or understand how chaos engineering has been adopted uh, over different enterprises or as a practice in the real world today and then obviously a huge shout out to our keynote speaker uma he is the head of uh, chaos engineering uh, at anes and he is also one of the founding members of the litmus chaos project he is a founding maintainer to the project and he'll be talking about best practices to achieving uh, end to end resiliency while using chaos engineering as a tool so an insightful uh, keynote is awaiting you and he'll he'll obviously be talking more about chaos engineering in today's world how how you know different tools or a, a particular tool in litmus is being used to achieve end to end resiliency so make sure that you are tuning in for the first key, uh, talk in itself which is the keynote led by uma who has also delivered keynotes at multiple conferences like sre con sre day chaos carnival and and con 42 chaos engineering conference as well so let's move on to how the agenda looks like but have you registered yet for the conference i mean a few people who are watching this might have registered but most of you uh, in the cncf ecosystem who have not registered for the conference make sure that uh, you are registering for litmus chaos con once again as i mentioned it's free for all so just you just have to go ahead uh, to the community.cncf page for registering and uh, register for the for the conference in, in itself but for that we are also sharing a qr with you so this is the qr code as you can see uh, you just need to scan it and you will be redirected to the litmus chaos con registration page on community.cncf.io as i mentioned it's a conference for the community on september 12th so make sure you're marking your calendars uh, scan your qr and you'll be on the page to register for litmus chaos con but uh, i'll make sure that i take you through the same uh before we move on to the litmus chaos project updates uh so if you can see my screen once you scan the qr you will be redirected to this page uh this is uh the bevy page the events page for litmus chaos con and you just need to go here and uh, register for the event so once you are here you'll see a register button as i have already registered so i'm not seeing this but you'll see this you'll just have to select this uh, it's it's for free as you see uh, the uh, the price is free for the conference and you'll be able to register and then you'll also see details for the event what is it about we are going to cover use cases integrations with other projects some popular contribution stories that have come from the community uh, community stories in terms of how people have participated and lastly obviously running it must in your environment the workshops and uh, different stories will also cover how litmus chaos is uh, run in environments and we have some amazing speakers a shout out to our speakers who belong to amazing organizations and hold amazing positions and have been pioneers to chaos engineering in the recent past uh, i mean gunar a popular chaos engineering principal developer advocate at aws sign mondel he's been one of the maintainers to the litmus chaos project leading the chaos engineering uh, tool at harness gauri yadav she'll be uh, talking about you know uh, introduction to to chaos engineering and a lot more uh, we have david uh, he'll be also covering postgres scenarios with uh, chaos engineering nagesh he'll be covering his chaos engineering journey so we have some amazing speakers again shout out to amazing organizations as well aws nu bank nokia ifood uh, dish networks so these are some amazing organizations uh, alongside harness and poker bazi uh, i think a popular gaming platform in india we have the student community represented by nagesh uh, and a few other folks who will be talking about their mentorship journeys uh, and how they have developed becoming a mentee for the project 
so there are a lot of amazing stories and a shout out to all the speakers you can see on screen uh, who will be participating in the conference as speakers and as you can see post uh, the keynote we'll have our session started where we you know start off with uh, a journey to maintainership from namq talking about your uh, user story from ifood which is a food delivery platform we'll have uh, you know an operation related talk where people uh, in vedant and adarsh from harness they'll be talking about uh, elevating litmus chaos with cicd and then we also have uh, genai innovations a lot of people have been you know trying to talk about chaos engineering in the real world using the power of genai so we have tejendra who's a cyber uh, security expert at nokia he'll be giving some insight on that and then uh, we also have the dish team dish networks team who will be talking about a user story on how uh, they have overcome the fear of uh, running chaos engineering or the hesitancy behind running chaos engineering in production so a lot lot of uh, amazing talks i'm not going through the agenda one by one i think uh, i've i've given some insight on what the speakers look like where they belong to and how they are going to cover multiple different stories we are having amazing lightning talks as well a great workshop delivered by nilanjan manna and raj das uh, who are also litmus chaos maintainers on you know mastering resilience probe simplifying your chaos hypothesis so there's a lot uh, in store in terms of you know the agenda items and what you can learn uh, through this conference so make sure that uh you are registering for the conference and participating we have uh, quizzes and games uh, as well uh, run by the community just for for fun activities and uh, it's it's a, a great conference a one day conference to attend if if you are interested in chaos engineering and resiliency as a practice so with this i'll uh, hand over uh, the the on demand webinar to saranya who's going to take it forward and and talk more about project updates litmus chaos project updates in the recent past yeah uh, let me share my screen yeah so hi everyone uh, and uh, i'll be talking about uh, the litmus chaos project updates and what all contributions the litmus community has added in the past few months and but before that i'm going to give a quick preview of the uh, chaos center platform so yeah so this is the chaos center platform and we have uh, recently added a lot of changes so i'm going to i'm going to log in quickly So yeah, this is the, uh, the Litmus uh, Chaos Center dashboard where you can see uh, the number of experiments, infrastructures, Chaos Hub, and the past runs. And uh, uh, here we have this Chaos Experiment page and uh, where I'll be going ahead and creating one uh, one experiment. But before that, I am uh, just wanted to show the resilience probe where uh, probes, uh, we can, uh, like with 3.x, we have, uh, added resilience probe as a standalone feature where uh, you can create uh, one probe and use it multiple times. So it's kind of a plug and play feature uh, that has been added. And uh, then we have the uh, Litmus Chaos Hub, which is a default Chaos Hub. It has uh, around 51 faults and uh, more than uh, 10 experiments. So yeah, and uh, I'll just go ahead and uh, create one experiment quickly. Gmix on delete. I'll just select the infrastructure that I have connected before. And uh, next step would be to select uh, how do we want to start off with the experimentation? Uh, like we have three options. Either we can choose it from uh, we can choose the blank canvas and choose the experiments from the chaos hub, or we can uh, import the uh, experiment predefined experiment uh, templates. Otherwise, if we if you have any experiment YAML, you can directly upload it. I'll just go ahead with the first one. I'll choose the false from the Litmus Chaos Hub. So let's say pod delete, and I'll just go ahead and choose the target application. 
let us and I have this uh, nginx installed. I'll just select the label. Then we have the uh, then litmus uh, has the default uh, some of the experiment tunables. I'll just go ahead with the default one. Here you have this um, close, uh experiment duration, uh, ramp time interval, pod affected percentage. So I'll just go ahead with the default values. And next will be uh, addition of probes. So uh, with the three dos x release, uh, this uh, probe selection uh, like addition of probe step has become mandatory. And uh, yeah, I'll just go ahead and select the mode of the probe. So I'll just uh, go ahead with the start of test one and apply the changes. And uh, this is the visual uh, representation of the experiment, but uh, you can also uh, see the YAML format as well, and it can be edited. And uh, next step is if you want to schedule it, like you have two options, either in the non-cron way, single run, or we can schedule it uh, as a cron recurring run, but I'll run it as a um, non-cron one. So I'll just save. So once the experiment is saved, I can just hit run. And uh, it will, it has started running and it will take some time first the chaos X falls, uh, will be installed, then the experiment injection, the fault injection will take place. Um, I have this pre-run, uh, I've already run one experiment uh, previously. So, so here you can get the probes and the details, uh, probe properties and configurations as well. So, and the configuration, the fault configuration as well. So if you have, uh, you had enabled, uh, disabled the cleanup step, we. Uh, we can also get the experiment uh, logs as well. So yeah, that's the overview of the experimentation. And uh, next would be, uh, so in the in the few uh, past few months, we have also added as part of LFX mentorship, uh, we have also added the support for multiple project owners. Uh, so that means like one single user can create multiple projects and uh, they can also invite other users as owner roles. So that means uh, one project can have multiple owners. So let's say test project. I'll just go ahead with the default names and uh, I can switch products from here and uh, I can add other members as well. And another, uh, uh, another change that has also been added uh, here is uh, earlier uh, Litmus had this um, editor role, but uh, now with the security uh, audit on uh, security audit and enhancements, this editor role uh, uh, like uh, Lit in the, in Litmus we have reduced uh, the access of the editor and uh, 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 like renamed it as executor. So executor role only has the permissions to execute uh the uh experiments and uh editor is editor role is now deprecated so i'll talk about it in detail in the uh while discussing about the uh, project contributions so yeah other than that we have the GitOps and image registry support as well so uh this is um uh, this is how like this was a very quick uh, uh preview of the whole platform now let's get to the contributions just like show. So yeah, in the uh, starting off with, I have categorized the, all the contributions uh, into mentorships and uh, uh, the security audit fixes and enhancements and uh, other uh, 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 contributions that have been added by the whole community, the litmus skills community. So starting off with the fix uh, with the mentorships. So uh, Litmus has been constantly participating in the LFX mentorship. Uh, so in that term one, uh, we have added, we had added three issues. That first one is the support for multiple project owners that uh, I talked about it earlier. So this this uh, feature has been um, added by Arin Bokhare. And uh, next is enhancement in uh, the Litmus CTL, which is a CLI for uh, Litmus, uh, Litmus Q Center. So there, uh, as part of enhancements, uh, E2E tests uh, were added and uh, CRUD operations for uh, uh, probes 
so probes can now be created using the uh, using the litmus ctl cli and uh, also the package manager availability so this was added by shivam and uh, with with this uh, litmus is now available uh, like litmus ctl is now available in homebrew um, so the next one is uh, in another enhancement in uh, chaos center so in uh, previous uh, like before 3.x uh, litmus has multiple had multiple e to test cases but they got invalidated with the latest uh, releases so uh, in so uh, dhanush has uh, had added multiple e to e test suits and also have has added fixes for addressing the cv issues that were there so yeah uh, then coming to term 2 uh, so this term 2 is still going on but as part of that uh, kartika saxena has um, has been working on uh, adding the upgrade agent support in uh, litmus 3.x so upgrade agent was already there but uh, it was not compatible with the 3.x uh, uh, with the 3.x release so yeah so this uh, the, the pr is already up and uh, it uh, will be available in the upcoming releases next would be the enhancement uh, another uh, set of enhancement in kio center uh, so support for uh, like git ops in multiple types like uh, azure git and uh, another uh, Another enhancement was uh, group selection of uh, infrastructures while uh, 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 while creating the um, experiments. So infrastructures are now can be are available uh, by in a grouping manner of uh, by environments. So that is that uh, that is there now. And uh, next is a revamp of H uh, Litmus Helm agent. So uh, in three dot x there was uh, some uh, issues with the litmus helm agent and it was not compatible so this has now been fixed and uh, it is now uh, made compatible with 3.x and uh, uh, so a second part of the issue was uh, ubi migration of all the container images in uh, chaos center so this uh, the images have been have now been uh, like uh, migrated to ubi uh, earlier they were in the alpine versions so yeah this has been added by dayong so this was all from the LFX mentorship. Now next coming to the um, open source co uh, contribution uh, academy. So it is another mentorship program uh, that is going on in South Korea and it is being uh, uh, led by uh, NAMQ Park. And as part of that, multiple uh, fixes are uh, uh, fixes and enhancement are uh, being added, but uh, these are some of the uh, PRs that has that have already been uh, merged in the merged in litmus chaos. So yeah, so as part of uh, them, uh, first one is uh, multiple uh, like fixed issues were fixed that were like uh, pointed out by code QL and code scanning checks. So they were like uh, small small issues, but were very impactful in the maintaining the whole uh, quality of the code and. Uh, Next is uh, update, updation of readme. So the readme file uh, that was uh, like translated in into Korean, it was not uh, updated uh, previously, but it is it is the readme file is now available in Korean version as well. And uh, next is uh, replaced or deprecated. So in GitHub workflows, there were some commands that were uh, uh, going to be deprecated soon, but it has, they have been uh, uh, replaced properly and updated accordingly. And uh, next is uh, uh, improvement in litmus documentation. So multiple uh, enhancements have been added by all the, uh, by the mentees of uh, the uh, mentees uh, uh, related to like uh, grammatical fixes and uh, uh, section like few tutorials and uh, readme updates. So all these improvements have been added in the litmus documentation. <clears throat> and another is like uh, uh, UI improvements in Chaos Hub. So earlier uh, there was this uh, in the connect Chaos Hub button. If you connect uh, connect uh, connect a hub, uh, there was no log uh, loading button, which was kind of uh, uh, confusing for the users. 
uh, whether uh, it got connected successfully or not. So one of the mentees have also added a proper loading button uh, to have a indication of the status. Uh, next is uh, re uh, renaming of the instance tag. So uh, one of the issues in the EC2 stop experiment, uh, EC2 stop fault was uh, the environment was not correct. And so that why that's why it was throwing target selection error. So EC2 instance tag uh, was being renamed uh, correctly to EC2 instance uh, uh, instance tag, and it is now work. This fault is now working fine. And uh, next is uh, the fixing of image links in the readme. Uh, readme. So earlier some of the image links were uh, not uh, being updated and uh, uh, like resulting in false links. So the, the readme is now up to, up to date. Next is uh, updating the Swagger version in the correct, uh, like Swagger files to the correct versions. So earlier versions were like Swagger files were not being mapped uh, correctly. So now they have been uh, uh, updated according to the versions. Uh, next, so this was the part of, uh, this was all from the mentorship side. And uh, as uh, like, uh, in the in the past few months, uh, Litmus was also going through the security audits audit. So as part of that, uh, the community has also added a lot of uh, enhancements and fixes. Uh, some of them are like the high level uh, uh, high level uh, PRs are like uh, making of uh, API error like login API error messages generic. So earlier for each error for different kind of error. Uh, we used to like the API used to uh, return particular uh, like error message uh, related to that issue, but it was kind of uh, 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 having a, a potential security risk. So the audit team has suggested to make the error messages generic so that uh, it would not be uh, uh, it would it, it would not be available like attacked by the uh, uh, malicious users. So next is uh, addition of necessary RBACs. So in few APIs like uh, creating and fetching JWT token, the RBACs were not uh, not in place, uh, resulting in uh, like let's say user one can uh, create and fetch the uh, JWT token for user two, which was kind of a like potential security threat. So uh, necessary RBACs uh, have been added in place to avoid such situations. And uh, um, similarly, pro proper ad uh, RBACs have also been added in the invite and get project members API as well to uh, limit the limit the amount of information being fetched uh, by, by these APIs. And uh, next is, uh, uh, so in the previous versions, Litmus did not have any course validation rules uh, so resulting in like, uh, uh, it was a potential risk and, uh, the audit team has suggested, uh, had suggested to add proper validation rules. So, uh, in the, in the last few releases, Litmus has added the proper course validation rules and it is now ENV based. So users, uh, can tune it according to their own requirement. And, uh, next will is, uh, reset password. So earlier, uh, like. In the in the litmus flow, admin admin user is the one who can create other users uh, and uh, uh, create their credentials as well. So it was kind of a risk because uh, the password was being shared to other users, uh, to the users. So so this password reset was not a mandatory step earlier, uh, which was which was a bit risky. So this uh, this uh, reset step um, had been uh, has uh, made mandatory. So that uh, whenever users uh, one user logs in for the first time, it uh, they will have to uh, reset the password. <clears throat> Next is a strict validation. Yeah, so uh, username and password did not have any strict validation. So the validations, the necessary validations are, are now added properly. And uh, next is uh, executor role addition. So as I mentioned before, to limit the access of uh, editor role, which like since user role um, can uh, like a uh, role uh, like one user with editor role can create uh, create or edit any experiment. So if 
if there is a chance that the user is malicious, they can uh, uh, like add, uh, like increase the blast radius or add some uh, 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 some commands that are uh, risk that kind of poses risk to the system. So to uh, to limit the access, uh, this executor role is now introduced and deprecated, and the editor role is now deprecated. Mm, yeah. So next is uh, support for JWT secret creation. So earlier JWT secret uh, for all the authentication uh, authorization was being uh, set in the plain text as a plain text in the installation manifest. And it was uh, like users were required to uh, change, uh, change the secret as per their requirement before installing. But it was kind of a risk in case user miss, uh, users missed uh, to change the secret. So to avoid such conditions, JWT secret is now added in DB in a like encoded manner, and it is created once while the installation uh, is done. And uh, next is the uh, 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 removal of KTS client code dependencies from the GraphQL server. It is another uh, attempt to uh, limit the access of the uh, Litmus servers uh, on the uh, on the user's cluster. And uh, next is addition of uh, environment-based support for HTTPS connection. So earlier Litmus did not have any HTTP support for HTTPS connection, but uh, uh, with the uh, security uh, audit, uh, they have suggested they had suggested to add the uh, support uh, the support for HTTPS connection. So uh, the Litmus uh, with the community has added uh, the like added an ENV. So that uh, it like it can use as both uh, users can use it for both HTTPS or HTTP based connections. And next is the network policy YAMLs in uh, Chaos Center. So uh, this is uh, this has been added in Chaos Center to limit the communication uh, uh, radius so that a certain uh, a certain service can communicate with the required other required services and not, no one else. So, uh, so yeah, that has been added. And uh, next is upgradation of uh, Go versions in all the modules in Chaos Center. So earlier it was 1.20, but uh, this version had some potential vulnerabilities. So uh, now all the versions have been upgraded to, all the modules have been upgraded to 1.22. And uh, next is, uh, adding the env environment based support for enable enabling and disabling the GQL uh, GraphQL intros uh, introspection. So earlier it was uh, enabled by default, but this uh, this had a, a risk of leaking of the GraphQL schema to the malicious users. So to uh, mitigate such issues, such cases, uh, we have added the uh, added one environment uh, to enable or disable the introspection so that uh, users can tune it accordingly. And it has been, uh, it is the introspection is disabled by default. Mm -hmm. And next coming and last, uh, and lastly, we have the, we have also added the Git leaks uh, scanning check in the PRs so that in case uh, any contributor mistakenly uh, uh, commits their, uh, their token, JWT token or uh, token, in any form in the PRs, so that can be checked uh, before uh, before making the commit. So that's it from the security audit um, side. And uh, yeah, so lastly, we have the, I'm gonna talk about other contributions, other additions um, that has been added by the community. So this is just a, a, a highlight and high level, uh, uh, high level details of all the contributions that have been made by the community members. So starting off with uh, fuzzing uh, first test. So first tests were added in all the in most of the litmus repositories uh, like KO Center, mm, all the models of KO Center, litmus go, litmus go runner. So in all these areas, first test were added, and uh, first test was also added as a PR check in the uh, Chaos Center repo so that uh, it is it can it is it is basically added to enhance the quality of the code and uh, next is integration with OSS first 
so it uh, fuzz litmus uh, has also integrated with google's oss first so that all the first tests uh, run on a daily basis uh, in the google oss fuzz uh, environment so yeah apart from the fuzz test cases fuzzing uh, the contributors have also added fixes for uh, vulnerabilities and uh, and also uh, litmus has migrated away from the old orgo ui package and uh, next uh, so with uh, 3. Dot, uh, 3.x dot release there were some issues with uh, gitops trigger and uh, this has been fixed in the in the last uh, in the last few, in, in the latest releases so um, the top trigger in the save delete and update uh, experiment are now working uh, fine so next is um, fixing and uh, like fixed and update uh, vulnerable packages so there were multiple uh, packages in golang for in uh, both authentication and graphql server that which were vulnerable so th those have been updated uh, properly so that uh, now uh, the vulnerability has been uh, removed uh, completely. So yeah, that has been done. Next is uh, addition of a new Kios fault that is uh, the K6 load generator. And it is like, it is basically uh, required to easily run a load testing through just a single JS, JS script. So yeah, so this new fault has been added and available in the Litmus Kios hub and uh, yeah. Next is, uh, yeah, so earlier, um, default chaos hub uh, URL was hard coded in the litmus so that uh, making is not uh, making it impossible for the users to uh, configure their own default hub. So uh, now uh, in the uh, in the last few releases, um, uh, we have made it like uh, we have added an environment variable and uh, with with some default values and users can uh, tune it uh, accordingly so that uh, they can uh, connect their own custom default hub. Next, as part of enhancements, um, so earlier there was no verification whether um, environment ID uh, that was being used for connecting an infrastructure is valid or not. So this uh, validation check has been added. And uh, next is a uh, uh, login with SSO button. So uh, when the DEX was enabled, there was no way users could know whether uh, DEX was enabled, is enabled or not. They have to go to a certain link to uh, to access the DEX, uh, DEX login page. But um, as part of enhancement, um, uh, the community members have added a, a login with SSO button and it will be available in case DEX is enab uh, enabled. Enabled. Um, Next is a restructuring of RBACs to resolve the secrets and config map poisoning. And uh, next is um, like addition of unit tests. So Litmus had already a lot of uh, unit tests uh, added, but uh, uh, to keep on improving on the unit test coverage, a uh, lot of community, uh, uh, like the first time uh, contributors as part of uh, good first issues, they have added multiple unit tests uh, in the in the graph. Uh, GraphQL and authentication modules. Next, another um, enhancement uh, enhancement in the UI, the uh, Kios centers. Uh, earlier, the pod uh, experiment pod logs were not in for uh, not formatted properly, making it uh, difficult for the users to read and uh, and take out and uh, find out the insights. But it has the logs has been uh, formatted properly now and are available and can be like uh, read properly in the UI itself. So uh, another uh, useful uh, feature that has been added by the uh, members. And next is, uh, yeah, so with the um, security audit, after the security audit, uh, uh, the support for uh, uh, Center cluster scope installation is now deprecated. And uh, now Center only supports uh, namespace scope installation. Mm, yeah, so uh, next we have the improvements in Kios Center UI. So there have been multiple PRs to uh, multiple PRs for improving the Kios Center UI flow, like like improving the user flow, adding the uh, adding the uh, necessary edit and update buttons in the UI, 
with or without uh, uh without any like users can access it e easily from the from the dashboard itself so such user flows has been added suggested and added by the uh, community members next is addition of loaders css fixes etc and uh, and also there were multiple bug fixes done by the uh, community members like uh, fixing the nil pointer issues or if there is some issues with the ui uh, routing so and um, rbac fixes all these um, uh, fixes have been done by the by the community members so yeah uh, i thank all the community members for uh, like making such uh, useful and valuable contributions to the to the litmus chaos and uh, lastly uh join the community so if you are interested in uh, contributing to litmus chaos uh so you can head over to litmus we like it has multiple repositories to get started with like uh, litmus litmus itself and uh, uh litmus docs uh, for the first time users they can start with the litmus documentation uh, fixes uh, and uh, like making some small uh, prs to litmus docs and from the core side repos there are uh, let must go, let must go runner there. Uh, if, if any of the users are interested in adding more and more faults, they can head over to these repos. And uh, if you are interested and uh, want to join the Slack community, uh, you can just head over to the let must channel in the Kubernetes Slack. So yeah, uh, thank you for everyone. And uh, over to you, Prithvi, if you want to share anything else. Thank you so much, uh, Saranya. I think uh, we are good. Uh, I appreciate uh, uh, all the contributions made by community members and people who are participating in the community as uh, users or community stakeholders. I think uh, we are good to uh, draw close to this on-demand webinar. And again, thank you so much, people who will be tuning into the webinar and watch it for this long. Just make sure you're following the updates of the project. And again, participating in litmus chaos con as attendees all right thanks everyone take care bye thank you bye